No need to assume the last word, Lord Baelish. I'll assume it was something clever. <laughs> oh, God. Game of Thrones is my jam, but the only outfit I had was this one, and my hair is kind of Sansa-ish. My makeup is a little Sansa-ish because I did use... We'll get into it. Let's look at some other quotes from Sansa. I'm sure cutting off heads is very satisfying, but that's not the way you get people to work together. It's season 7, episode 5. You're the strongest person I know. I can never be an actor. Hi guys, it's Sweetie Pie and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the Game of Thrones Urban Decay collab palette review. I'm going to talk about the palette just like I do all of my reviews. This is a palette review as well as a Game of Thrones review and honestly, I think this review is probably going to be out before the season is over. So yeah, this will be a goodbye Game of Thrones. Oh, I really love Game of Thrones. I love the show. Me and my husband watch it all the time. Every single, uh, like we get it on, oh, what did we have it on? Crave? Yes, we get it on Crave and we actually, instead of staying up until 10 o'clock when they actually air it, we wake up at like four o'clock on Monday morning and we watch it before we go to work together. That's what we've been doing lately. Before we used to just kind of watch it as season came out. So yeah, anyway, that is my like deal with Game of Thrones. I actually found this at a thrift store. Oh goodness. Let me think here. It was probably quite a few months ago, but I thought it was so Game of Thrones like. You're going to be able to see some pictures on my Instagram because I did take some. Is this not like Game of Thrones like? I know you can't see it completely, but it's so fluffy and long and it's that kind of like color that I think a lot of those women would have worn back in the day. I pulled back my hair and obviously the Game of Thrones palette is on my eyes today. So if you guys would like some information on the palette, swatches, you know, a little look from me, a little look from yours truly, then stay tuned. All right, let's get into this video. Oh, breaker of chains much? That's what the background was. I was trying to theme everything. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, so we've zoomed in a little bit. I didn't think that was like, that, that was good for an intro, not good for a whole video. So first thing we're going to do is what I always do in my reviews. Some information. I jotted down just a few things that I thought would be pertinent about this palette, where to purchase the products, all that good stuff. I purchased mine at Sephora.ca, like I pretty much do anything that can be purchased at Sephora. I love getting the points and I love, you know, that it's two-day shipping. It's a really great place for me to purchase things that can be bought at Sephora. It was $77 and it is actually out of stock as of right now on their website. I don't know if they're bringing it back in stock, but it is a limited edition palette, so could be anyone's guess. Um, I think it is still available on UrbanDecay.com if you are interested, and I'm not sure about uh, Sephora.com. I'm a Canadian, so it's always the Canadian site that pops up. The shadows in this palette, there are 20 of them, and obviously a lot of people have seen this. This does slide right out. It has a little pull tab. Bam, just like that. And then this piece can be set aside. Now, a lot of people were saying that they don't like that, I don't mind that about Urban Decay. They've done a lot of palettes like that in the past. Their heavy metal palette, as much as I like this better than the heavy metal palette, it's still pretty easy to use. You literally can take it right out and put it on your desk or put it wherever you would normally put your eyeshadow palette in the first place. So yeah, if you love Game of Thrones, this is going to be awesome to you. I will do a big close-up of the packaging because it is awesome. But you get 20 different shades in the palette. You get four shades that are what they call toppers. And then you get the other, what, 17 shades on the other side, which are in a little bit smaller pans. The square pans are 0 0.85 grams. And then the circular ones are 1.42 grams, which gives a grand total of 19.28 grams in total. They're 385 
per shadow if you, you know, did the division on the shadows. There were 72 reviews on Sephora and most of the reviews were five star. There were a few things about you not using a glitter glue and be having fallout. I do agree with that. I do not think that although they call these shades toppers, I don't think that you would just be able to go like pat, pat, pat without anything and have it look gorgeous. It's going to, it's going to fall out. It is definitely, definitely going to fall out. And then another complaint was that there are only three mattes in that palette. And that's definitely kind of a complaint for me as well. I think that if they had added in a matte green, a matte purple, uh, you know, like it, I think people would have been even more excited. Not that I don't like this palette, but always, you know, always a way to improve, right? Anyway, so this palette is made in the US of A. There is a 24 month shelf life. As for a lot of Urban Decay palettes in the past, it is a talc based with dimethicone, ultramarines. It is cruelty free. It does not combine any, um, I didn't see any carmine or anything on the list. That's always a question for me because sometimes I found that there was carmine in it, but they say it's cruelty free. I don't know what what to say about that. But yeah, there is the information portion. I hope I didn't leave anything out. And if I did, comment down below. Someone else can answer or I will answer. Anybody, you know, whatever. Let's get into the swatches of this palette. Some of these shades I just die for, others I could have done without. A couple shades that I definitely, I'm just like whatever about are Winter Is Here, which is, you know, that brownie copper and then like casterly rock. But in all honesty, like that might be your foundation for this palette if you are a neutral lover. So they, they did try to please 
everybody with this palette. They tried to give everybody a good chance. I love, love, love this silver free folk. Oh, so pretty. Today I'm wearing Winterfell, which is that like very, when you end up touching it, it does have a very like fallouty kind of, I don't know, flaky feel to it, but I promise you that once you start tugging on your eye, especially if you get these wet on your finger, like I did with a lot of this look today, they are stunning. Take me black, take the black is actually, I don't really see it coming out as very much sparkle. It does work really well as like an outer V kind of trying to make it darker. I didn't use it today. All I really used was House Lannister, Lannister Red, I used Winterfell and then I used these two. I've really been trying. My inspiration for the look was this picture. Hopefully I'll be able to find it. And it was one of the promo pictures that they did for the palette. So yeah, also talking on the palette itself, the, you know, the piece de resistance, the reason why it's a Game of Thrones palette. So the, it opens up like this. There's a big mirror in here that I probably wouldn't use, but I am just thinking now, like, oh, I have some lipstick on my mouth here. I hope that wasn't super noticeable. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> I think that your eyeshadows wouldn't get all over this. So if you did want to travel, travel with this, I think that as much as it would be kind of bulky, you could probably fit it in there. Although I think that only having three mattes, it might be risky just because you might want to do a separate look. You would have to get creative. Either way, I think that, you know, the mirror is nice. It's probably not that usable, but whatevs. Then there is a little quote here and what it actually says, and this is the only quote that I'm kind of like, you had enough space here. Like, why didn't you write the whole quote? The quote goes like this. Lannister, Targaryen, Baratheon, Stark, Tyrell, they're all just spokes on a wheel. This one on top, then that one on top, and on and on it spins, crushing those on the ground. And it's from Daenerys Targaryen. The only thing is, is that I'm almost 100% positive that in that quote, the end of it was, I want to crush the wheel. That would have been an amazing ending. I don't know. Tell me in the in the comments what what you think of that. Then when you open this little flap up, so there's the uh, little you know saying, and then you open the flap up, and voila, it is the chair, the Game of Thrones chair, the um, you know the chair made out of swords. So cool. I love the pop up. Like come on, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, this is so chill. And then they have. Tyrion Lannister's quote, never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear it like armor and it can never be used to hurt you. And that's a cool quote. I think there were better ones, but I get the point of them using it because it's kind of like wear whoever you are on your sleeve because if you're strong and you know who you are and you're happy with who you are, then no one can ever make you change who you are. Something like that. Anyway, have this raised back everywhere where you can actually kind of feel the swords, which is really cool. It's on the back, it's on the front. And then when you look at the palette, the back is just totally black. And then it has their houses, like it has three houses. And then it has like the frozen north, free folk, hard home. They had to have one that had like some blue shades in it because people would have been like, what? But yeah, anyway, I don't know guys, I really enjoyed this palette. I don't think it I don't think it's a cohesive palette for like weeks and weeks on end. You're going to absolutely love using this and only this just because there's only 3 mats in it. I just uh oh, only 3 mats, only 3 mats. I think that if they had added like even one, maybe two more mats, I probably would have been even psyched. But these are so pretty and yeah, I want to go into the look right now. I'm going to do a bit of a sped up version. If you would like to see like the full version, I actually did a video today. My face make my face makeup. My face makeup is actually done. I used a full face of things that I bought on sale. So if you want to see that full version, then you can go over to that video. I will link it right up here. And yeah, let's go into that look.
right, guys. Well, that is like the end, okay? And you know what? I really enjoy this. I am a really big Game of Thrones fan. I don't think that if you weren't a Game of Thrones fan and bleh, if you weren't a Game of Thrones fan, you may not actually like love this. There are some really cute colors in here. Um, the few that I don't think I could dupe in my collection are probably a couple of these ones that are on the side. Oh, this one in Winterfell is really beautiful. And there are quite a few duochrome shades in here as well. Bay of Dragons is definitely a duochrome. King's Landing, Hard Home, white walker so if you're into duochrome shades there are a lot in this palette and I love the purples in here as well bend the knee very sparkly very pretty but see if my urban decay uh heavy metal collection could dupe any of these shades in here I think there are a couple that might come close but yeah I love you guys so so much and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had fun doing it I love dressing up I hope you enjoyed my silly little inserts and stuff but yeah um, that's the end of this video. Subscribe down below, like this video. Again, obviously it helps me out. And maybe go into one of these videos that are popping up over here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright. You just, right here? Maybe here? Maybe here? Maybe here? Oh, Jesus, please don't drop the palette.